Hi there, welcome back to my channel Educare with Milanjis. Low level equilibrium trap is one of the biggest hurdle in front of the underdeveloped as well as developing country in order to proceed to development of the economy. So today let's study about this low level equilibrium trap by Richard R. Nelson. Before we go any further, if you had not subscribed my channel, please do subscribe my channel and hit the bell icon for getting the notifications of my upcoming videos too. Also, like the video if you feel that the content was good and comment in the comment section about any further clarification. So without any further delay, let's move on to our topic. The theory of low level equilibrium trap was developed by Richard R. Nelson in his article, A Theory of Low Level Equilibrium Trap published in 1956. It is based on the Malthusian hypothesis that is the population tends to rise when the per capita income rises above the subsistence wages. According to Richard Nelson, the developing countries are trapped in the low level equilibrium as they are at subsistence level of income. As the savings and investments are low and a rise in income above the subsistence level is followed by a rise in population which leads to nullifying the effect of the rise in income. Now let's look into the theory. Basically the theory suggests that as long as the per capita income remains below a critical level a population growth rate that exceeds the income growth rate will always bring the economy back to a low level equilibrium trap. To avoid this trap, it is necessary to introduce technical progress so that the production function which accounts for the output or real income growth rate which will lie above the population growth rate and as long as that happens, the trap will cease to operate. In the above figure, the y-axis measures the population growth rate and the income growth rate, whereas the x-axis measures the per capita income growth rate. The economy is at low level equilibrium trap at point L because beyond point L up to point K, the population growth rate are faster than the income growth rate and per capita income falls, bringing the economy back to point L. The trap operates between point L and K. There are certain policies to attain sustained progress in the per capita income and they are the output growth curve must be shifted upwards by better allocation of resources or through the introduction of technological progress or both. The population growth must be controlled as far as possible to keep the per capita income above the subsistence wage rate. Promoting potential savers and entrepreneurs for increasing the investment in the economy. Bringing in innovations for bringing in the technological progress. And the final point is provision for obtaining capital and funds from abroad to increase foreign investment in the economy. Every theory has certain shortcomings in it and this one too has. The criticisms are the population always does not grow because of rise in income but also because of better health facilities in the economy. The role of government is also very important in the growth of an economy which is neglected in this theory. Today, we had learned about the theory of low level equilibrium trap by Richard R. Nelson and the various policies that can be adopted to have sustained progress in the per capita income. I hope you all liked the video. Please do subscribe my channel and keep commenting in the comment section about the video. Till we meet with a new topic, Auf Wiedersehen.